There are real dangers out there. And we're going to see in 2 Timothy chapter 3 what the Bible says that the, the perilous times that are coming, and I believe that are here. This is the world that we live in. And this is why it's so important to make sure that our children are being raised properly. And one thing that'll, that could save your child's life is to teach them that there really are bad people in the world that may try to offer them nice things and that may try to, to, to be real friendly to them, but in the end will end up hurting them. I mean, we just had an instance the other day when we went out for Elizabeth's birthday, we went to Olive Garden, and nothing happened except my daughter came up to me after she, you know, she's old enough now to go and use the restroom by herself, but we like still make sure, you know, I can't go in there, but, you know, if at all possible, we usually have still have one of us going in there with them. But I'm standing right outside that door. I'm sitting right, you know, right at the entrance. So if I could hear anything, you know, and they're always instructed, you know, if anyone does anything, you, you know, you yell out, you get away, whatever. We teach them all this stuff. But when she was in there, she came back out and she was in there a little bit longer than usual. And she said, well, I, I, met a, I made a new friend. And you don't make friends in the bathroom. Right. That is not the place to make friends. Now, do I know if that person was extremely weak or not? I don't know. It might have just been some friendly lady that, that was being nice to a seven-year-old. That's what I would like to think. But there are all kinds of horrible things that happen in the bathroom. And I had to instruct her and say, you know what? You, are, you tell people, I'm not allowed to talk to strangers. I'm not allowed to talk to anyone, especially in the bathroom. You just come out right away then when people try to approach you and do that. And the kids need to hear that. That's just one example. These things happen all over the place and it doesn't even necessarily take very much time. We need to be vigilant at, in the protection of our children. Look at 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse number 1. The Bible reads, This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof from such Turn away, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and lead captive silly women, laden with sins, led away with divers lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Jannes and Jambres withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith. <coughs> we see this huge list of the way that people are going to be in the last days. It's going to be perilous, and, and this is where we're at. You can look at how many people today are lovers of their own selves. How many selfies do you see? Look at me. Look at me. Look where I'm at. Look at, you know, it's one thing to take a picture and want to have a picture for, you know, for your family or whatever. But when you're just walking around all day and, and you just, every single day you're just posting yourself and everything's about you, you're a lover of your own self. I mean, that's, it, that's that simple. Covetous, looking at things you don't have. Boasters, proud, those things go hand in hand. Blasphemers, disobedient parents, unthankful, unholy. Living wicked lives without natural affection. This is talking about the sodomites, the homos. They don't have a natural affection. Truce breakers, liars, right? False accusers. But then look at this, as they're incontinent and fierce. They can't be satisfied, and they're fierce, they're, they're dangerous, despisers of those that are good. That's especially important to pay attention to, because if you're trying to be good and do good and do what's right according to the Bible, they're going to despise you. They're going to hate you and try to destroy you, and we need to be aware of that. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power there from such, turn away. And then again, it goes on to describe that they, they creep in. They're lying in wait to deceive. They're creeping in to, to the people that they think that they can um, easily manipulate and control and, and, and um, destroy, ultimately. 